Good morning from From Scratch Ranch. Today's project, horse shelter. We gotta build a horse shelter before we can bring the ponies home. So we've got the fence pretty much all done and I'm building a 24 foot by 12 foot horse shelter. So we've got the back wall against this fence line, which this fence line is facing northwest. So that's the northwest that way. So the prevailing winds in the winter will block that wind and it'll be enough of an angle here in the roof overhang with the sun coming over here for shade, hopefully. I've gotta build this for shade primarily in the summer because today it's gonna to be like 95 degrees, heat index of like 105, it's gonna be pretty hot out here. And there's no shade. There is no shade at all over on this side for the afternoon. We only have morning shade here along the tree line, which is on this ridge here, um, just for the very early morning here where we got shade. So, today's project is to finish this up and at least get a metal roof on this thing to provide shade for those ponies. And then I'll come back and do the walls later. All right, well, let's get started. All right, we're starting to build our shed now. We're putting our holes in the ground for our first posts. We're gonna be putting along this fence line here. The backside of the shelter for the horses or the the run-in will be along this fence line. So I'm gonna put in four posts, some four by six posts in between these fence posts. That will be the back side or the short side of the lean-to. And it's gonna angle up to the high point out there about 10, 12 feet out. So we're gonna get our first holes dug here so we can get our posts in so we can finish this fence off on this side. Even though I used the auger off the tractor, it only gets so much. And, and I had some rock and stuff I had to bust through and then I'm gonna clean out what's left in here and get a little deeper with hand digging it. All right, so now I'm gonna string a basin line down the fence line here so I have that edge and I need to put these posts up against. Make sure all my holes are right. I'm just putting a screw on this side. I'm gonna wrap the string around. I had to buy another roll of mason string because the other one I had, it completely destroyed putting in all those fence posts. All right, so we're gonna string it here to this post. tight and wrap it around all right so now I don't know if you can see that yep that orange line there I've strung it all the way down and I've got to position each one of these posts right up on that orange line which goes right along the fence posts here so that everything's nice and straight and flush with the fence line and it looks like it crosses the hole pretty good so I can put the gravel in and get those posts set now So we're laying out these two by fours, get them ready for the, my bracing. We're gonna screw them into the posts to brace it two different directions. Do you wanna, yeah, pull one up? How high? Um, just yeah, just where I can reach it. Okay, and that one can go the opposite direction. Same side or same so. This side of the fence. So have that one come up this way. I have my back turned. Can you go further up? Uh-huh. Keep going. Or not up, but like, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll use that to help get it positioned right. Stake it into the ground.
All right, so now we got this bracing all up. Now we just need to go and measure everything to make sure it's the right measurements this way and then plumb everything up both directions. How's it looking? Two corner posts are looking really good now. We're right on the line. We're plumbed both directions here. And uh, on the line, on the line. That's good. Close enough. Because <laughs> we're going to have to adjust anyways. i got to stake these into the ground, set them. Anchored, good to go. And then we'll measure off for the other ones in the middle. I need to be three inches from that corner. So I need to be nine exactly. Because that's gonna be an inch and a half for the rim joist on both sides for three inches total. Okay. Okay, ready? 25, 10 and a half. Is that the back corner? Yes. 25-10. For the middle one, I'm gonna spray my, okay. Okay. That's it. So I need the hole. There, there, and here. Okay. I just marked my two corners. Now that we got everything squared, I have my center post at 12 feet. All looks good. Close enough to square to dig my holes and set my posts. Tractor time. All right, got my two post holes for the front done. Now I'm on my third, this back corner here, front corner. Taking these into the ground here to support this because this is my front post here on the left corner that I need to make sure is perfectly plumb. Yeah, that looks about right. I'm gonna just put a screw in right, right there, which is right in line with this post right here. So I did the same thing on that side. And what I'll do is I'll take my long tape and stretch that across my diagonals since I don't have anybody to hold it for me. And we'll see if I'm square. All right, so I'll just hook that on there. Now these diagonals have to be exactly the same for it to be perfectly square. Okay, so we are sitting at 25 foot 
six inches. All right, let's check the other one. Oh, I'm hoping this is right, because I don't want to redo any of this work. Oh no, 2510, ugh, why is this off? understand how I could be off. Everything seems to be square unless one of these posts is twisted or something. See the problem visually, this is all right. I know this post is a little twisted, so from the outside here, that's square. This one, Ooh, I'm off on this one. So, visually, it looks right. But math does not lie. And the diagonals have to match. If they don't, my roof will be all cockeyed and that will not be a good situation. So, it looks like I might just need to move this one back this way and that one this way a little bit and kind of pull it into square. All right. Take these and stick around. Okay, right there. Don't move. All right, I think I finally got it. I think I finally got it square. Um, it was a lot of work just readjusting some of these post placements to get it to a perfect square. And yeah, this is my first time doing this, so I go. I want to make sure it's perfect, and it was off by a lot. Even though I did all that pre-measuring beforehand with all of the mason line and everything, still the holes were off like three, four inches. So I had to expand that hole over there, bring that post in, adjust this post here, and now I've got it at least, it's 24 feet all the way across the front, perfect. Now I'm gonna check my diagonals just to confirm it's totally perfectly square. Let's see what we got. After more adjustments, we have 25.8. Okay. And we have 25.8. 25.8. Oh, finally, finally. I don't do this for a living, so it took me way too long to figure out how to get this perfectly square. Man, that is awesome. Put it on this side, because, yep, so right here. Against the two current posts, yeah. To see, see the bottom just needs to. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good right there. We're gonna have a perfect hole like the last one, so I don't have to dig it out bigger. Okay, here we go. 
last hole. Then I can finally take this thing off and not have to put it back on again. Yeah. All right, fencing, it's all done. Almost done with the shed for the pasture, the shelter. But if you wanna see more videos on this, make sure you follow From Scratch Ranch on Facebook and Instagram. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you know each you time. To tell them subscribe first. Subscribe, right? You better subscribe. To subscribe, then hit the <laughs> alert bell, the notification bell. Yes. Make sure you subscribe. What? Say that again? Make sure you subscribe. Yes. And go to our Instagram and Facebook at From Scratch Ranch to see progress on our farm. Keep living the dream.